cousins near and far, welcome to my video, Admixture in a DNA Study. If you are unfamiliar with the term, check out my video, 5 Bonus Terms You Should Know for Genetic Genealogy. I'll put the link in the description box below. Admixture, more commonly known as ethnicity, one of the main reasons why people do a DNA test. And when you use it in a DNA study, it can bolster your findings tenfold. Let me show you how. Over on the website GEDmatch, you'll find a variety of admixture tools, each honing in and drawing out different data, comparing us to corresponding DNA pools of interest, designating our segments to a region in a similar fashion as how we perceive a chromosome map. So, in an extreme layman terms example, it would be similar to identifying the surname Smith in your chromosome map, but we're calling it Germany. Of course, admixture is much more deep and technical, but this gives you a general understanding of how ethnicity reports are discovered and presented. So how do we use admixture in a DNA study? It's going to work in conjunction with your chromosome map. If you have a segment that you've identified on your chromosome map, you can run your DNA through an admixture program. It'll give you a color-coded map and key, so you can see the different regions as they lay represented on your chromosome. Simply locate your corresponding identified segment and see what your admixture or ethnicity is inside that segment. An example on screen is from my Mary Sweetwater video. My ancestor, Mary Sweetwater, was of Native American extraction. I've previously mapped her branch along my chromosome map. After running an admixture program suited to drawing out Native American DNA, highlighted here in red, you can see that within the segment I've inherited along the branch, presumably from Mary Sweetwater, the only known Native American along this branch, we see red spikes indicating Native American admixture or ethnicity, thus proving she was of Native American extraction. Now, if you watch my Mary Sweetwater video, which I'll link in the description box below, you'll find that she herself was a bit of a mystery, a myth even, but a chromosome map and using admixture proved her, whoever she was, to be real and be found in my family tree exactly where she was supposed to be. Check out the videos linked on screen along with others you may find interesting linked in the description box below. Thanks for watching.